Hello guys, so how are you doing? It's great to be back again. This is Common Sense with Freddie here. We share, you know, career nuggets, we share live nuggets that can better help you to increase your capacity building, add to your well of knowledge, and as well as help you to make an informed decisions. So my name is Coach Wilfred Asuko on Common Sense with Freddie. And if you're just joining this channel for the very first time, I will encourage you to smash on the red subscribe button below this video and join our community. And for those of you that are just joining, I am a capacity builder. I am an IT consultant, a certified John Maxwell coach, as well as the founder of Zit Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform. Below this video, you have several informations and details that can help you get up to speed. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about while immigrants love it here in America. So in recent times, I have found out um, some videos that portray or uh, shows how um, our African men are being um, thrown out of the house or thrown out of home. It could be in America or it could be in Europe or any other place outside or here in the diaspora. So you see, I stand to be corrected and I have a different view about those videos. And like you guys know, um, bad news, negative news spreads faster than positive news, good news that um, you will see out there. I mean, I mean, I'm living here in America. I've been doing well for myself. I've been doing a lot of IT trainings, whole free IT trainings, and it didn't go viral. Nobody talked about it, right? But when it comes to negative news, you can be sure it is going to go viral. It is going to go very, very wide and trending. So it's normal. But you see, a lot of my clients as a coach, they love it here in America. I can tell you for a fact, I have several clients that are moving from UK to the US. Some are moving from Canada to the US and you'll be wondering why. And I can tell you that US is a liberal nation. It's a liberal country. I can tell you for a fact that there are so many opportunities here in the United States. I have clients in the UK that I have coached. They've attended my trainings. They are business analysts. They are data analysts. They are release train engineers. They are agile coach. When I am sharing my compensation rate and that of what they earn, here in the US, it's double. There are some that are triple. So you can find it that when you're building a career here in the US, US, they respect professionals. They respect academics. Here in the US, some will say, oh, um, there are no discrimination. There are, but very minimal, and very mild. Okay? If you are good at what you do, trust me, you are good and you will be respected. And they will offer you your utmost respect to the latter they will offer you that respect and offer you what you rightly deserve why because they need that skill to help develop the economy help develop their young ones so here in the us i can tell you for a fact we love it here as immigrants and as for the issue between man and woman where men are being thrown out of the house now let me tell you guys something it's not possible for a woman to throw a man that is responsible out of the house. So why is my wife not throwing me outside of the house? Why is my wife not throwing me out? You see, when you are a man, an African man, and you are relocating to the Western world, you are relocating to the West, to the diaspora, and you are coming with the African mindset, where you relegate your wife or women to the back seat, where you think you want to talk to them any type of way, where you think they don't have a say, where you think 
they don't deserve to have an opinion or express their minds that's where you get it wrong and just because um you were a synergy to relocating her to the western world or to the west still does not give you the f country to sit at home and think she should go work and bring money while you dish it out for her back in africa we are used to using um house boy house girl errand boy errand girls you have you know help her at home to take care of stuff but in the western world it costs a lot to keep an errand or a house help or a house support to take care of stuff you have paid a minimum wage and if you're not making enough to make that happen yes the responsibility is for you and the man so if you are a man and you're not supporting your wife then absolutely expect to have problems because he won't go to work like you do and come back she has to deal with the kids go to the kitchen to cook for you and you just cross your foot in the sitting room and expect magic to happen she's gonna get burnt out and if this continues then don't expect anything short of what you watch on the internet nobody would take that but if you choose to be a partner and supporting your partner in here in the united states or in europe or in canada wherever that both of you are relocating to i can tell you for a fact there is no way that she will get up and ask you to pack and leave the house so we love it here and i do not want any one of you out there to eat into that narrative that oh immigrants are suffering or they don't have a say or their wives are oppressing them the system makes them sleep listen those are negative vibes those are negative vibes don't get discouraged if you want to relocate make us a priority because as immigrants we love it here as ever see you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.